These tools were added to the game in the 2021 July update with the addition of a level 7 keep part to the hall. I'll go through each tool and show you some presets with them for defense and attack. In this video, five players can win a basic prize of 25,000 rubies and extra 500 rubies for each unique participant. Write your player name and server in the comments and share the video to increase the reward pool. Probably most of you already have these tools because you can get some before they're researched opening boxes and offerings. To get these tools, you have to reach the 785 legendary level. After that, you can unlock the 7 keep. It is enough to upgrade it in your main castle to continue. In the second row, you can unlock the refinery and marketplace. In the refinery, you can create three types of manuals, the short, long, and ruby manuals. These can be used to make refined wood and stone, and also give you a large amount of storage capacity. By crafting this item, you can increase the amount of refined materials you can produce. In the third row, you can get the Toolsmith, Siege Workshop, and Defense Workshop. In the Toolsmith, you can produce the materials needed to produce tools using wood and kingdom resources. You can also craft an item to increase the amount of production. Developing both workshops will unlock level 1 offensive and defensive tools. And once you have both, you can start upgrading them. In the research tower, you can improve the production of manuals, producing more refined materials from the same amount of raw materials in the same time. So in summary, you can make refined materials from wood and stone in the refinery. From the refined materials and kingdom materials, you can make additional materials that are used to make the tools. It's important to build stone quarry and woodcutter before you make tools and then put these elements on them. This can reduce costs by 25%. You can skip the production process for rubies or rent production slots for coins. To move on to a new row, you need to upgrade everything in the previous one to the max level. It's important to know that there are two types. There is the offensive and defensive ones. And within those, there is the basic and the special tools. Special tools have their own slot and there is the one that gives you extra waves or another one gives wall number. Each of these tools has two effects and a limit, which are improved as they are developed. The tool limit means that there can only be maximum X amount of a specific tool in a wave. Now let's look at them all in order. Attacking with them is a bit tricky because of their limitation. I recommend the following way to load up on waves. You can use any of them in the yard. However, if you have all, you can use the extra wave tool. Here is a comparison. The only difference is in the attack tools. They are much more effective than standard tools. If you attack and lose, these tools are returned from the battle if they have not been used. The exception is the Glory Tower because it gives glory points and is activated, and the War Wagon disappears when the army is launched. This is the defensive setup I recommend. With bigger wall size, most attacks can be defended on two flanks or the front. For the courtyard, I recommend using these tools. Here is a comparison. The only difference is in the defensive tools. They are much more effective than standard tools. Thanks if you watched. Hope I could help.
Have a nice day.